Compute the median of the test scores. To compute the median for group data, use this formula. Median equals the lower boundary of the median class plus one half of the total frequency minus the cumulative frequency of the lower class next to the median class all over the frequency of the median class times the class width. It's easy to find the class width. It is just the difference of two consecutive lower limits. 13 minus 10 is 3. 16 minus 13 is 3. You can also find the class width by counting starting from the lower limit to the upper limit. 10, 11, 12 is 3. 13, 14, 15 is also 3. One half of the total frequency is just the total frequency divided by 2. The total frequency is 30, so one half of 30 is 15. Let's add a column for cumulative frequency. To fill this column, simply copy the frequency of the lowest class interval, which is 4. Then add the frequency of the next upper class. 4 plus 8 is 12. 12 plus 7 is 19. 19 plus 6 is 25. And 25 plus 5 is 30. It's nice also to add a column for the lower boundary. To find the lower boundary, just subtract 0.5 from each of the lower limits. 10 minus 0 0.5 is 9.5. 13 minus 0 0.5 is 12.5. 16 minus 0 0.5 is 15.5. 19 minus 0 0.5 is 18.5. 22 minus 0 0.5 is 21.5. Now let's identify the median class. Again, the median class is the class with the smallest cumulative frequency greater than or equal to one half of the total frequency. What's one half of 30? 30 divided by 2 is 15. In the less than cumulative frequency column, what is greater than or equal to 15? It's 19. So the median class is 16 to 18. Now let's use the formula. The lower boundary of the median class is 15.5. One half of the total frequency is 15 minus the cumulative frequency of the lower class next to the median class, which is 12. The frequency of the median class is 7. And the class width is 3. 15.5 plus 3 over 7 times 3 is equal to 15.5 plus 1.29 which is equal to 